Hey, welcome back, Rankers. How are you going? We're getting closer to the warming part of the month. Yeah, you might let us out soon if we're good, but only if we're good, which, let's face it, we're not very good. Um, I want to talk to you about a few things today. These are the numbers. These are the numbers from last week. So this is the client that we moved to Cloudflare a few weeks ago, start of the month. Now you can see there the numbers look great. Mobile revenue is, is the big the big winner there. And you can see we've got a drop there in traffic. Now, sometimes when you talk about conversion rates and these sorts of things, it can be very misleading as we've explained before because what can happen is if, for instance, let's just take organic. If your organic conversion rate is, you know, let's just say it's 1%, and you switch off your blog traffic, which represents you know, maybe 50% of your traffic, well, that traffic is not gonna convert as well as the traffic that is coming there to the shop. So if you switch all that blog traffic off, uh, you'll probably get a, a much higher ACR from the traffic that's left, right? Makes sense, because you've got rid of the non-buyers and now you only have the buyers. So it's very easy to influence ECR in some respects um, by the volume of traffic that you have and where it's coming from. The uh, and you don't have to do a lot on site for that, so you've got to be careful when you look at these sorts of numbers that you haven't had a, a big uh traffic drop, and that's why you've got you know a, a great ECR or you know all your sales are made at the start of the day and you do an ECR check at midday, it doesn't account for the people who are logging on at night that don't buy. So it's all these little different ways of looking at ECR. So we, de we tend to look at it as an after effect to go, oh, look, at well, that's good too. Yeah, it's a nice bonus and it should happen, but that's not what we're trying to fix. We're trying to fix the, the access and the speed issues for the site. And we know that will help ECR. We know that will help ECR because uh, it's a better experience for the client. So for us, it's a measurement to make sure we're on the right track. It's not a goal, if that makes sense. And every channel is, is going to be different, right? Every channel... Um, will perform differently as we've explained before. Quite often, you know, your email should be performing best or your uh, ads might be performing best. It depends on the category, depends on your audience, depends on your brand. All of those things are influenced. Now, when I managed uh, a Douglas Hi-Fi store, for those of you who are old enough and remember that brand name, back in the 1980s, one of the things that I would never ask management or, you know, regional management to do is send me more traffic if we're already getting good foot traffic through the shop, but we weren't getting sales, right? That's exactly what we expect with e-commerce though. Like, we just keep throwing more and more traffic at it, but there's a, a fairly clear example that you don't need more traffic to make more sales. You just don't. But we are obsessed with getting more SEO traffic, more paid traffic, more EDM traffic, more social traffic. How about we fix the shop? How about you have the best shop around so people want to tell their friends they want to come and shop here because it's great. People want to tell their colleagues to go and shop there because you're a good supplier. People want to tell their friends and their family to shop there because it was fast, easy, convenient, great service. All those things are far more important than getting more traffic to your site if your conversion rates are under 2%. Seriously, you've got something wrong. Even if they're under 3%. And we've got some clients that are under 3%. We're working continuously on them. Not in every channel. And that's the thing. Understand those channels. At Douglas Hi-Fi, when I was working there, um, if you were a new trainee or whatever, you would go and work and get shadowed by one of the senior salespeople. That's what happened. You know why? Because that you learn from the senior salespeople. You can learn from some of those data channels, learn and understand why your EDM traffic uh, might convert better. Or if it's not, why your ads traffic is con converting better. Understand that. And, and the reason these channels convert better, usually bef before any of the others, or over and above any of the others, is because it's more relevant, the channel is more relevant, and it's more targeted. Uh, organic is not targeted. You might say, oh, it's targeted in the keyword. Not really. You don't, you don't have an option of what Google's going to show. You do uh, with an ad. So there's all these sorts of different things. And, and your EDMs might suck because you're not doing it properly or you're not measuring it properly 
or you're using uh, terrible subject lines that no one wants to open or don't capture us, or it's too wordy, it's too hard to read, I can't observe it. By the way, your homepage of your website is not the shop window, but the email, the EDM, that is definitely the shop window. Hopefully that's helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you've got any thoughts, if you want to explore some of these things, let me know. But I'm just I'm just surprised with our industry wanting to throw more traffic at things that don't work. Fix the things that don't work and then see if you need more traffic. Anyway, tell your friends, subscribe, stay free. And we'll see you next week.